Hello my dear YouTuber friends, I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. Now I woke this morning to a very pleasant surprise on my YouTube videos, a new post from one of my subscribers or viewers on my previous sensitivity video. I'll link that in the top right for you. He mentioned that there were a couple of new sensitivity settings that I simply hadn't realized were there. I've not messed around with sensitivity for some time. So I started to investigate. <clears throat> As you know, I use the Logitech uh, Flight Yacht system, and I'll come to that in a moment. But faster than you, I'll link his actual uh, posting in this video so you can see what he said. He mentioned that there are a couple of new sensitivity settings and that they're actually quite good. I'll come back to his post in a moment. Uh, thank you, faster than you. I hadn't realized these were there, like I said. So I'll show you. I'm on my Logitech Attack 3 joystick. It's a simple joystick I bought for £20. I bought it to do a back to basic tutorial set of videos. I'll link that in the top right for you. But I started to play around with this and these new settings. Let's just go to them and show you what they are. The couple of new settings are Extreme Dead Zone and Reactivity. Now I'll come to these in a moment. I set my sensitivity up on this joystick to the best I could so that it could feel the best it could being quite a cheap joystick. And it was okay. Let me show you how this reacts with my original settings that I set in game. So in the roll, it's okay. It's a little loose is the best way to say it. Definitely in the pitch. So when I'm moving up and down, it does the job. But it just feels still like a cheap old joystick and not quite where I would want it. So then I started to mess around with these new settings. Now let's see if I can do this on the fly, as it were, while you're watching. I started to mess around with the pitch, so raising altitude pitch uh, sensitivity plus. I put that on about uh, minus 74. The extreme dead zones, now these are the important ones. I put that on minus five. Extreme dead zone is pretty much how it sounds. You've got dead zone. Now you've got this new one, which is the more extreme version of it. Let me just play around with these and I'll show you what this does. So I put both of these on minus five. Come on, minus, oh, it's so sensitive. Uh, pun intended, uh, minus five, and reactivity, the way your joystick or yoke system will react when you move it left or right or up or down, essentially that's what reactivity here is. Pretty much like sensitivity, but it's more how it's reacting to, the, to when you're rolling or pitching. There's no foreign pulse that I could find that explains this in any detail. That's why I'm making a video, but it makes a huge difference. Let me just alter these to both minus, uh, sorry, 75%, not minus, so 75% reactivity and 5% in the extreme dead zone. Now let's go, let's apply and save that and go back to the simulator and just grab my joystick again. Now, when I'm moving left or right, it feels definitely like there's more resistance there. It doesn't no longer feel like a cheap old joystick. Using the pitch, so... Descending and ascending, or raising, increasing your altitude. It all feels much better. Now, this is just something that I played around with in the past 10 minutes or so. You can alter that reactivity and extreme dead zone more, but it does seem to make a huge difference even on the cheaper controllers. So if you've got a cheap Holtas, in this case, like I said, I'm using a 20 pound secondhand extreme uh, attack three, Logitech Attack 3 joystick. It just feels wonderful. You've got a bit of a lot more resistance in the roll now. Feels like now, even with this cheap old joystick, 
I'm actually playing, I'm actually flying a Cessna or a light aircraft. There's some resistance. The game's just updating itself and lagging a little bit there. Don't worry about this. This is obviously the Orbitz London Landmarks package. So there's a bit more scenery to load in. Now it's settling down. But yeah, it makes a huge difference. Like I said, even on this cheap old controller. What I'll do now, I'll switch over to my uh, uh, Logitech Flight Yacht system and show you the settings on there. That's even better. I'll be back in a moment. Now here I am with my Logitech uh, Flight Yacht system, back in London again of course. I've applied some of those settings, let's just show you that straight away. So go to controls, I'm on my flight yacht system, sensitivity. I didn't mess around with the extreme dead zone on this. It's not a good idea <laughs> with the Logitech flight yacht system, so I just left that alone. But the reactivity I put again to minus, uh, sorry, to 75%, not minus, just 75%. So let's go back. When I'm rolling now, there was always something missing with Flight Simulator 2020. When I played X-Plane recently, I'll link that video in the top right for you, I was saying if only Flight Simulator 2020 would control like X-Plane with these graphics. You know what? With these new sensitivity settings, so reactivity and extreme dead zone, more the reactivity in this case, when I'm rolling now and pitching, there's a refinement in the controls that simply wasn't there. A little bit more resistant, it, it, resistance. It feels like I'm actually flying and controlling. I've just noticed I've got that dreaded wind layer back again. Let's just get rid of that. I don't like that low wind layer. That's better. It feels more refined almost up to the standard of X-Plane now. The way it's reacting. It feels like I've actually got hold of the controls of a real Cessna aircraft. The way I can feel a little bit of resistance in the roll and in the pitch as well, it just feels far more refined. I'm still getting my head around exactly what these do, but simply playing around with it, with it, with the reactivity in this case in particular, when you're rolling or pitching, the aircraft is reacting slightly. If you got it on 100%, it will react the way it was normally, the way you're used to without altering this. When you alter it to less than 100%, it reacts and gives you, reacts differently and gives you a little bit more resistance. And reality is the best way I can put this in your controls. Honestly, now try this. If you're disappointed, a lot of people, especially X-Plane owners and people who are used to playing X-Plane, were disappointed with the way the aircraft control in Flight Simulator 2020. This addresses, and for me absolutely fixes, a lot of those issues. Now I'm perfectly at home with Flight Simulator 2020 as I am with X-Plane in the way it controls. Just lovely refined movements. And like I said, I've only just played around with these now maybe maybe for the past 20 minutes or so now. I can still alter and play around. So if I want to, I can put that reactivity a a bit less perhaps, even adds, depending on what yoke system or holtas or joystick you're using, mess around with the extreme dead zone. Now let's link that original posting that's faster than you thankfully posted me. 
Now, he was wondering whether this would be just part of the Dulux or premium versions of Flight Simulator 2020. I'm using the standard edition, so it seems to be in all editions. No matter what edition you have of Flight Simulator 2020, you should find these new sensitivity settings in-game, as long as you're patched, which you, you would have to be, to the latest patch. So it's in all versions. He mentioned that it really helps with the 747. It's refined the 747. It feels better. I've not tried the airliners. I prefer the light aircraft with Flight Simulator 2020. But I will be trying the airliners now to see how that's affected them. Honestly, give this a try. For me, this is a game changer now. With Flight Simulator 2020, this has just changed the way it behaves, the way it flies, the way it feels. It feels beautiful to fly now. Absolutely beautiful. Stop watching this and go and give that a try, those new settings. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think it's actually elevated this simulator now. It's the best out there. I'm going to put it on the line. This is the best flight simulator money can buy at the moment. Anyway, as always, those are my thoughts. Give those new sensitivity settings, <laughs> new sensitivity settings a go first. See how you find them. They do seem to have added, just on a side note, some more buildings in this London Landmarks package, in the Orbits London Landmarks package. They seem to have filled a few gaps. Wonderful now. Ah, oh, just wonderful. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. I'll stop gushing over this. Let me know your thoughts. Give the video a like if it's been of help to you or if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. <laughs> oh, wow. This is lovely. Subscribe for more and I'll see you soon.